Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moonseeker Light Guardian and today I'm doing a conversation with the Divine Masculine. Let's get some unspoken words from the Divine ma sorry, did I say Divine Masculine? I mean Divine Feminine. Unspoken words with the Divine Feminine. Let's get some unspoken words from the Divine Feminine. What does she want to say today? That she's been keeping in for a while. This is a general reading. Please take or resonate. Don't try to make anything fit. I do say he and she, but divine feminine and divine masculine energies are just that energies. They are not gender specific. So the first message we have here from the divine feminine is that I spent too much time in my head. This could be because she plays out scenarios in her head. She plays out scenarios about things that have happened, things that haven't happened. Um, this could be a little bit like also being in the Eight of Swords energy, yeah? just kind of trapping yourself in your mind. But she's, what she's saying here is what, what she wants the Divine Masculine to know is that She's aware of this. She knows that she spends too much time in her head. She knows that she, you know, um, has fights with him in her head all the time and then holds him responsible for things he didn't actually do or say. Um, just like the Divine Masculine, we Divine Feminines, we also go through periods of, of you know, um, fear and doubt and not really knowing um, how to get out of our own way, how to get out of our heads. Let's see why this is. Why does she spend so much time in her head? We have two of swords here. This is because she's she's indecisive. She's indecisive. She's trying to balance things up, but she can't. She's trying to take this blindfold off. She kind of wants to, but she doesn't because she doesn't want to. She's afraid to see. Um what's there but what's there is not necessarily that scary it doesn't need to uh, frighten her but she's in a place where she's in her headspace and she's she's scared she's afraid she doesn't want to face certain things perhaps you have ace of pentacles but what is it she needs to be afraid of when there's new beginnings when there's new beginnings in the in the material world solid new beginnings an offering an opportunity to desire we have the star here this is just, you know, hope and faith. Have, have hope and faith that when you take off that blindfold, things will be, um, things will be all right. Things are not as scary as you make it out to be in your own head. There'll be new, new opportunities. You just need some time to rejuvenate, to rejuvenate and just restore and just trust that the universe has your back. So the divine feminine spends time in, time in her head and by doing so and keeping the blindfold on she can't see this she can't see the new opportunities she doesn't have hope and faith faith she can't rejuvenate because she's in this stagnant energy and she's like tense and um can't relax relax into the newness so that's the opening message from the divine feminine Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what she has to say about what's going on in her heart space. What is going on in her heart space right now? I'm ready to set, step in to my sunshine. I wanted to know that it was my choice. Get one more message. will do despite the fact that she's you know too much in her head and we have this true source energy here she's ready to step into her sunshine she just wanted to know that it, it was her choice that two of swords there can also be a card about indecision um you know trying to make choices but being indecisive but she just wanted to know it was her choice it was her choice perhaps to walk away it was her choice to to um to be in this relationship not that this was chosen for her as such she's trying to start to understand that you know in this in this twin flame journey 
you guys chose this coming into this lifetime. All the trials and tribulations that you're going through. All the lessons. Even all the pain and hurt. We have what comes around, goes around. And I wasn't strong enough. So she wanted to know it was her choice. And she wants to now that she's understood that this is her choice. She wants to, 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 to keep walking on her journey. But. Sometimes what we put out comes back to us. This could be both good and bad. But I'm getting from this that it was this was more of a negative than a positive because we have this card here next to it saying I wasn't strong enough. Maybe there was some kind of temptation that came her way. Perhaps she met a karmic partner or a soulmate. And perhaps you know, step to the side with him or her. Um, but it came all back around to her again. Perhaps this is why she and her divine masculine went their separate ways. They just weren't strong enough to handle the intensity of this relationship. They weren't strong enough to to um, stay the course because there's still lessons to be learned. There's still healing to be done. And she wanted, to, and this is also part of what she wanted her, she wanted to know that it was her decision, her choice. Let's get some clarifiers here. We have a page of cups. And this page of cups is about, you know, pages of messengers. This is about messages of love. I feel like this, this was a lesson for her about self-love. This is a message from her heart space. But this is a message of her that, you know, what she puts out, even uh, positive or negative, but this is like, now I'm saying that this card is, she put out love to perhaps people that didn't love her back. And she's realized now that that love that she so freely gives to others needs to be given to herself. So she's learning to love herself. She's giving herself, you know, uh, a love messages if if you if you say you can say that she's learning to love herself she's learning to fill her cup up when i was um shuffling one of the cards that kind of popped out was the ace of cups um so this is about self-love filling up your cup first we we'll also have here the knight of cups and we'll have the six of cups on the page of pentacles here so this is also like in the solid solid world messages of of, you know, a desire, her own desires, her heart's desires. This is about being that person for yourself. We have the Knight of Cups here, which is having that, being in that place of, of, of operating from your heart space, where you your heart over head rather than head over heart, which you, in her... Um, Opening messages there, we saw that she's, she was in her head. She's starting to operate more from her her um, heart space in order to get to the Six of Cups, to heal this Six of Cups, to heal that connection, to have that past love come back around, healed, where she loves herself, puts herself first. So let's get some more messages. Our conversation topics she wants to talk about. Let's see what she wants to close up this reading with. If you want to close up this, we'll take this one here. Maybe we're just too different. Yeah, maybe you guys are too different. Maybe you guys um, don't see eye tie and everything, but you don't have to. There's no no one says every relationship has to be the same. No one says that just because you are twin flames, you're gonna have to like exactly everything. You can be different. Opposites attract. I still love you. But the thing is that she still loves her divine masculine because they are connected. They're connected on a soul level. And then we have here 
I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. So whatever was going on with her at the time, she didn't disclose that to the Divine Masculine. She didn't perhaps tell him that, you know, her true feelings, you know, doubt, fear, all those things. She kind of kept it to herself. If she had been more honest with her Divine Masculine, maybe things wouldn't have been as harsh or hard as they were when things went down. Let me just get some final messages from here. But anyway, so she 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 should have been honest. Maybe she tried to to be someone she wasn't and try to be, you know, like the things he liked or you know, like do things that was out of her comfort zone zone just to appease him. Perhaps we have blank. So silence. This this is silence. It, doesn't, it says just like have nothing to say. And then we have her. It's time to learn and grow from this. And this is like the biggest message here. It is absolutely time to learn and grow from this. It is absolutely time to transmute all of this pain we hold on to, all of this hurt into something teachable something we can learn from and grow and finally sometimes you just have to walk away yes and that's why I, this this card the blank card came out here silence because sometimes you just kind of have to walk away be quiet you do you he does he and then your paths will cross again because you are twin flames. You are connected. You will never be apart. It is part of your journey to reconnect. This doesn't mean that you're going to be perhaps in a physical relationship, but you guys will meet up again. You guys will be in a place where you can carry out your missions independently or together, but you'll be in a place where it's not riddled with hurt and pain and um, doubt, fear, those things. No, you will find a way back around. Because it's time now to start the next phase of your journey, which is learning and growing, healing. So, yeah, sometimes you just have to walk away in order to be able to walk back. So guys, that is today's reading, a conversation with the Divine Feminine. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.